Welcome back to St Paul's, home of Fisher FC, uh, for the start of the season 2024-25. Um, I'm sat here again with the main man, the manager, AJ. Um, AJ, it's been a couple of months since the end of last season. Um, had a couple of months away from it. Um, what have you been up to in that time? Um, just been looking to recruit players, really. The last few months has been really hard for the manager to because the old squad left from last season and you know the way we get ended last season and we need to get a new fresh blood and new faces in and that's what we've done and I think the pre-season showed the hard work that we put in this season. Yeah, pre-season's been pretty encouraging. Um, I'll t get up, ask you about that in a second, but just um, just for the outsiders here, can you tell us a little bit more about how you go about recruiting the new players, finding that fresh blood, what you're looking for, where you're looking? Um, so a lot of, obviously when we finished, the Sunday league was still going on yeah. and we picked up our two players from Sunday that's never played this level before mm -hmm. in Diego and Abs, which is good for us um, and they've been fantastic in pre-season for us. We've done a lot of miles going into a lot of showcase game and we've picked up some good boys in there again. So yeah, we've done lot, loads of miles between me and Michael and Luke, we've done loads of miles, um, miles through the country to try to get players in, but now we've done really well with them. Yeah, and like I say, pre-season's been encouraging. There's been some exciting players coming through. You know, everyone at Fisher loves to see an exciting young player coming through. Um, but also, a couple of a couple of returning faces, Jack Gibbons and Dan Fleming, who played for Fisher before. Yeah. Um, can you just touch a little bit on what those two bring coming back in? Massive experience, massive, especially Dan. Dan's come in, and Dan was in a Fisher um, team that was really successful, I think, a couple of years, six years ago now. And just to have that experience around the young boys is really key for us. And that's something we've missed the last few years. And he's just a massive character in the change room. So that would really help the boys to shine in this season. Jack Giddens, Jack has played up north. Um, you know what Jack was giving us when Jack was there anyway. And coming in, he's, he's a proper man man as well. So yeah, he's, we're looking good in that position of having experience on the team is really good for us. Yeah, fantastic. And yeah, a couple of couple of the new faces, the some of the young faces. Um, can you just sort of highlight one or two of them? Obviously, you don't want to pick favourites at this yeah. point, but, but you know, is, is there anything, anyone I should have my eye on? Um, young Tolu. Tolu. Tolu's not here today. Tolu's playing for the um, youth team tomorrow, but Tolu's been a really, really good player since he's come in. Yeah. I think he's only 16 or 17, and he's just not looking. He's, he's been, I believe he's scored three goals in pre-season and set up three goals. And for a young lad to do things like that, it's really incredible. And you can see from what Sam Richardson did last season at door, and I think he might even go further than what Sam did yeah. for us. Wow, okay, well that's, that's, that's saying something. <laughs> um, I want to touch on pre-season, a couple of good results. Um, the schedule was sort of, there were a lot of step four teams in there, yeah. a lot of stronger teams. We didn't have a lot of uh, sort of opportunities just to just to put like seven or eight goals past some, uh, some, uh, some other team. Yeah. Um, what, what, was there any kind of specific thinking towards that? Did you specifically want a tougher test, or like what? What do we? Need, what do teams need when they have like those pre seasons? Um, where we started so late, yeah. I believe having a tough pre season would be better for us, and it gives us more running on the pitch. And where we're only having 45, 70 minutes in our tank, we need to work hard. Mm -hmm. And playing at them kind of levels of team allows us to work super hard, and that's something we haven't done in eight in a couple of years. And the year we did that, we've done really well in the league. Um, even in the cup, we got to a cup final where we actually went and test ourselves. And again, I just want to test the boys and see where they are. They're new faces to us, and the challenge was there for them. And yeah, they, they matched it really well. Yeah, there yeah, were some good performances, and um, hopefully that puts us in good stead for today and the rest of the season. So Punjab United today, um, I, I, one of the fun things about this level and this league is, you know, there's, there's less information out there. Yeah. I think we're still a couple of months away, really, from finding out who's definitely going to be up there competing, who's yeah. going to be in danger. But on paper, it seems like everyone, everyone could be everyone. Yeah. Um, but let's focus on like what. <laughs> when we get to the end of the season, the end of April, we're sat in the clubhouse. Um, Jim's handing out some awards. What will it take for you to be happy at the end of this season? So I don't like putting pressure on people, especially the boys, because it's not fair to put pressure on them because they're just learning, they're learning on the job as well. But for me, is beating what we did last season or even topping what we've done in the past season, that would be a success for us. I keep saying every year, last year I said the same thing, our success is different to everyone else's success. And if we can go on and get a cup in the cup final or even win a cup this year or even get into playoffs, that is overachieved for us. And as long as we stay in the league, 
really happy with that. Um, that's just not good pressure on the boys. But for me, I know what exactly what I want for the season, and I know what I'm going there that will give me what I want for the season. Fantastic. And just to finish off, um, I asked this at the end of all of my uh, player interviews last season, so yeah. I'm going to ask it for the last time <laughs> to you. Uh, now imagine this evening uh, you're, you're in the O2 Arena, you're going out, you're going to box for the world title. What's that ring walk song? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> probably Sweet Caroline, that's our yeah. best music, so we've got to go with that Sweet Caroline, definitely. <laughs> get, get the crowd going. Yeah, I, think, I think Billy Brown said that. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what we listen to in the change room, so nice. yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Amazing, cool. Thank you. AJ, thank you so much and go well today. Thank cool. you so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.